Okay. Good. Good. You may think and say. What? <clears throat> You've been bitten by a dead hand. You're low on hearts. If you die now, you'll become a dead hand yourself. Stay calm. I'm going to help you. Lucky for us. I caught a fairy. Oh, wait. Damn. Oh no. Stay awake. Stay awake. You have to stay awake. There's a spring nearby. Stay with me. Don't give up. Never mind. You're safe now. We're under a rock. For some reason, no one looks under the rocks. I'll do a little spell here to speed things up. This might feel weird. Just relax. I won't hurt you. must be so confused. May I... So small. You could hear out of these? Huh. Oh, sorry. I, uh, don't talk to people much. Usually it's just me and Epona, but she's not great at conversation. She's a horse. Hey, listen. You're in Hyrule. It's beautiful and full of magic, but it's also very dangerous. And everyone is weird. Everyone. for you to blend in. Just act a little off and no one will notice. People might want to touch your ears though. <laughs> you could say you're part Gerudo. That's quite common. Hey, hey, look, look, look. Pay attention. You're impressed, right? Yes, I can see you're impressed. Anyway, I can help you get your bearings, but I'm in the middle of a quest. I had to fetch an egg to give to a guy in a town. He'd give me a potion to give to the lady in the lake, so she'd repair my shield. But the metal I need is guarded by a dragon, and he wants my tomorrow night. The egg will spoil, and I'll have to start over. One of my titles must be Legendary Errand Boy. Who am I? That's right. You don't know. My name is L-I-N-K. Link, nobody special. Really? Shoot, let me have this. So, tell me about where you're from. Is it very different from Hyrule?
I am speechless. Very funny. Hyrule isn't perfect, but if you'd rather stay here, your secret's safe with me. I promise. Let me just check. Good. The poison is out of your system. Let's get some food and we'll move from there. Ah, you found me. Dinner's getting ready. Hopefully. Our species look very similar. You probably eat the same foods we do, so that's lucky. Come to think of it, why do interdimensional travelers all look like us? Stay here. Just a Skulltola. It's a huge spider with a skull on its back. No big deal. Hmm? Oh, a cuckoo is a vicious raptor that swarms a huge fox. If you see one, run. Huh? What's this? Oh, come on. Does that look like me? Well, it was fun while it lasted. Hey, don't give me that look. That cuckoo attacked me. You're not thinking of claiming that reward, are you? Good, because I can't eat all of this by myself. Besides, it's from another time period, so it wouldn't work. What? It's true. Actually, I can prove it. Is it working? A long time ago, Queen Zelda, who was princess at the time, and I saved this kingdom from Ganondorf. He's our main villain, an extremely overpowered wizard and shapeshifter. It was an epic and long battle. The thing is, winning that fight required time travel, hence the hero of time. But in so doing, we've shattered the timeline. Now there are at least three future timelines where we do all this again. And we've done all this before. Ganondorf attacks Hyrule, Zelda and I save it. Over and over and over again. I have no idea how we got here. And no idea how to stop it. Sorry, none of this is your problem. Your opponent just doesn't understand. See? Ah, here. Take a look at this. That's an artifact from the cute timeline. Their graphics are way different from ours. That's not the future we're headed towards. I saw that they thwarted again by flooding all of Hyrule. Frankly, I'm not a fan of drowning everything and everyone I'm here to protect. Apparently, it was the king's idea. He turned himself into a boat. See what I mean? This time travel stuff is a huge, confusing mess. It leaves so many what-ifs. It's probably best not to think about it. Otherwise, I'll start asking questions without answers. Like... Did I cause us to be stuck like this? Could we have defeated Gandorf without time travel? Is there a way out? Maybe if I tried to talk to him first, but he immediately started with the fireballs. I had no choice. Did I? Could I just talk him out of it? No, that's stupid. I missed out on my childhood. Was it wrong to want it back? Would all other links hate me? Do we reincarnate, or are we completely different people? 
Ganondorf never changes, but we always change. So we can't win, but he can't lose. Right? Wait. What we could do is reassemble the Triforce and correct the timeline. But that would mean choosing one of the paths, right? How do you pick between futures? Who should and should not exist? I hope no one else has to deal with time paradoxes. For just a second, while traveling back and forth, I could see all of them. Every. Single. Timeline. Sometimes it was like this, but other times it was. No oh, goddesses. It only gets worse from here. I don't know what a gun is, but it doesn't belong in Hyrule. Yep, Zelda just kisses the boys. What? What even? Oh no. I was hoping no one else would ever see these. I'm sorry. This... this animation... I didn't edit these. Just freeze frame. Why happening? I'm as frightened and confused as you are. Mirror? What? Okay. And... what happened? Huh? Laughing? I'll spare you the catchphrase. It is possible if Ganondorf had seen any of that. He wouldn't have wanted to invade Hyrule, start a war, and get us stuck in a time loop. Unfortunately, my sword only takes me to very specific time periods, it's a whole thing. Oh, sorry. This is why I don't cast the mind reading spell too often, or talk. You kind of get unloaded on. The spell will wear off in about one more hour. Then I'll get back to my glorified fetch quest. What for? Well, if you're sure you want to know. I need to fix my shield because I have a shadow. Sort of. I wondered for a long time why I was chosen. I think I understand now. I was raised by a childlike people called the Kokiri. When I left their land, I had to fight to stay alive, sometimes for the whole night. I killed a lot of monsters. At first, it was entirely in self-defense, but as I got stronger, it got easier. And then, it became fun. Those days are long over. No one proves themselves in blood. I don't miss endlessly fighting, and I don't miss who I was. If nothing else, please understand this. The part of you that kills for fun leaves a dark mark in worlds like ours. Mine was so bad it literally gained a life of its own and ran amok. So I have to go fight him. I'll win. I'll, I'll probably win. Don't worry about it, there are timelines for if I die, too. Maybe I should set up a school or something, just in case. Oh, food's done. Oh, no. Oh, that... Oh. I'm just gonna... Yeah. Ugh. Here. Sorry about that. Apparently dead hand is not edible. I was hoping with the right spices. The main path is just out of this forest. Follow the signs of the cabin. If you can pick up our language, of course. Or look for the big pointy building with lots of flags, can't miss it. Zelda has an imposing bodyguard. You'll know her when you see her. To let her know we're friends. Tell her Link said, HUT! She hates when I do that. She's a ninja. She'll take you to see the Queen. Zelda will help you if she can. To be honest, your arrival might be the beginning of a fun adventure. 
that or a portent of something calamitous. You know how it goes. What? Oh. No, you can't come with me. I'm afraid you're on your own. Just follow the road and you should make it to the castle before dark. It's a lot less dangerous than where I'm going. Besides, some towns have banned me because I smashed all their pots. Why did I smash them? To get the stuff inside. Yes, I get that's what pots are for. That's why I break them. I don't... I don't understand the confusion. <coughs> they found me. You must run. I'll hold them off, but you have to go. Now. And good luck, fellow adventurer. May we meet again when neither of us are dying. <laughs>